my name is James Bird. I like making things, and when I'm lucky, people pay me to do that. This is going to be the first of several posts about how to prototype, how to do it quickly, how to do it cheaply, how to do it effectively. So I want to talk about how I think of prototyping, which really breaks down into three high-level points. The first is that prototyping is a tool that you should use continuously throughout the development process. I think everybody knows that at some point they have to make a prototype, but a lot of people think of it as a single stage that you get to after you've done your CAD modeling, which really robs you of a lot of the benefits that prototyping can provide. There's a lot that you can answer, a lot of questions you can answer in CAD, but really there's nothing like physically holding something in your hands to see how it feels. For example, if really early on you're trying to figure out how big something should be, cutting up a few pieces of cardboard is something you can hold in your hand or put in a room and see how that feels. And you really could never answer that question in CAD. The second point is that before you start prototyping, you should be clear on what question you're trying to answer. If you're not clear on what question you're trying to answer, then try breaking it down into smaller pieces. Which brings us to our third point. You really want to test one thing at a time. It's very tempting to try and prototype many things all at once. It seems like it's going to be more efficient. But in reality, the more complex the prototype is, the longer it takes to put together, which ends up delaying you getting some of your answers. And if one feature ends up failing, you may not be able to test any of the other features you were hoping to test. So those are the three key points. Use prototyping as a tool throughout your whole development process. Be clear on the question that you're trying to answer before you make a prototype. And test one thing at a time. Thank you for watching. Leave questions and comments below. And stay tuned for next time.